Okay, this is another one of my videos where I like to expose the frauds. If you follow my channel, you'll know that whatever videos that I put out, I have personally tested myself and they are verified to work. I do not believe in putting out any bogus videos to profit from. Now there are a lot of people out there that have no problem posting fake videos in order to get millions of views so they can make a lot of money. I, on the other hand, choose to only put out real videos. You will never see a fake video posted on my channel. I don't believe in wasting people's time or money. So if you're looking for an honest channel, you have one right here with mine. Now a while back, an individual uploaded a video to his YouTube channel showing this free energy device that he made. Now what I did is I duplicated it exactly according to what it was in his video. The same amount of turns, the same 14 gauge wire, and I also bonded a hard drive magnet to the top of the coil, leaving a little bit of a space so nothing is being shorted. And I also tried using the north pole facing the coil and the south pole facing the coil. I also tried his same experiment using a larger neodymium magnet from a hard drive, like you see here, and the results did not change. Now in his video what he showed is that once this is set up the way you see it here, that you're going to have around six volts coming off of these two legs. Now it's set up exactly like his. Let me turn on my meter, DC volts, and we're going to touch each one. And as you can see, we are getting zero volts. Nothing is going on there. So I can confirm you're not going to be getting any power output making the exact same device that he made. All right, it's not going to happen. The only way you're ever going to get current to come out of this device like you see here, you would have to actually have this coil rotating in a magnetic field. So you could have a magnet here, north facing in, a magnet here, south facing in, and spinning a coil fast then you have a rotating magnetic field that would produce a current or you could leave the coil stationary in the center and have your magnets rotating around the coil but you're never going to produce any electricity having a fixed magnet up against a coil like this it's not going to happen the only other way that you possibly can have current induced into this coil of wire here would be to have a very strong source of radio frequency energy such as a magnetron from a microwave oven maybe he had one hidden underneath the desk where he was using and he put this over the top of it and maybe there was a sufficient amount of energy to induce currents into this coil to get an output I think it's highly unlikely but there's always a chance that's how he did it the more likely way that that video was faked was this way you're going to see here now. When he checked the voltage, it came up as 6 volts or around 5.92 on the meter. The only way that we can get that to happen with this coil, all right, would be to actually open up the digital multimeter and on the inside you would take a 3 volt button cell or a 6 volt or you could put two 3 volt button cells together and you would disconnect the positive or the negative internally and if you're using a cheap meter you don't care you're going to be making a video anyway you could always put it back and what you would do internally is take that button cell I think I have one right here alright this is a little larger but this is a 3 volt they make them much smaller than that in 3 volts you could put this inside your DMM one side the positive can go to the positive here, the negative would go to the other side that you disconnected internally. So you're basically going to take a 3 volt or a 6 volt battery and connect it in series inside your meter. So once you connect this in, all you would have to do is go like that and then you would see the voltage of this battery which is hidden inside the meter. Now that's very likely what he did. He hit a battery inside here and he goes like that 
and then it's like, oh great, I got 5.92 volts. What's happening, this coil is creating the circuit between the two probes. There's also another way that this could be done. Using a round motor, when you pull off the end, you're going to have two magnets inside, normally, and in between those two curved magnets, there's usually a space. You could easily fit small 1.5 volt or a 3 volt little battery in there, button cell, tucked between the two magnets off to the side away from the armature. And you would do the same thing. You would connect it in series to one of the legs of the motor. So what all you would have to do on the outside is take that brass contact and short it with that brass contact and the motor would come on. So what happens here, like in this video, he would touch one of these legs to there, this leg to that spot, and he goes, wow, look at this, it's spinning. The reason why it's spinning is not because you're getting any power out of this, it's because you completed the circuit with the battery that's hidden inside the motor. So there's a lot of different ways to fool people with this kind of a setup. And the reason why I really hate these videos is because it wastes people's time, it wastes money, and it also causes damage to other videos that have the potential of being something. So, for instance, this right here is a fake piece of garbage, which is not going to work. But somebody may have something that actually may work. But what's going to happen, because you have all these people putting out fake videos like this, because they want to make money on advertising, what ends up happening, a video that comes out that might be something to look into, people are automatically going to discredit that video and, and then you won't be looking into what they made. So it hap it's really damaging a lot of other people's videos by doing that. The same individual also posted another video saying, oh, I'll show you how you can make this. Now, of course, he's not going to show you how to make it because it doesn't get any simpler than winding your eight turns of 14 gauge wire, hooking up your corkscrew coil in the center with the four turns, and then laying your neodymium magnet from your hard drive across the top. He even added another one later and put the corkscrew in a different spot, but the bottom line is it does not work. If something like this worked, he would not be on YouTube posting his video. He would seek the assistance of a patent attorney. He would have this patented, and you would see this in a smaller version installed on a lot of electronics, such as smartphones, to keep them charged. The reason why I put the video out is because I want to save people the time and the money trying to duplicate this because it's not going to work. If you see a video on YouTube and it looks too good to be true and there's not that much information given or the information to make it is so simple but no matter what you do you can't get it to work, it's a scam. All right? They just want you to watch the video to rack up the advertising dollars and that's all they're concerned about. The only use for this free energy device that you see here that I could possibly think of would be to use it for opening bottles of wine because it has a corkscrew on the end. That is about it. Besides that, it's completely worthless. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.